This is the start of what we call perimeter or area problems. Now, on this setup, there's two ways we can do this setup. One way is we can say let width be w. Let length be and here it says it's 9 more than twice its width. So I could say 9 more than twice its width. Okay. Now an alternate way is to actually draw a rectangle and put a W here for width and a 9 more than twice the width and 9 more than twice the width as the length. So in either case um, the you and the user can see how you are translating. Now for translating um, we're going to translate perimeter is 136. Okay, I'm going to rephrase that a bit and I'm going to say length plus width plus another length plus another width is 136. Okay, so sometimes you have to sort of go through and, and rearrange your words a bit. Now let's translate. Length is 9 plus 2w plus width is w plus another length plus another width is 136. Now you may have these in brackets so they sort of stand out. Your next line then on the uh, when you go to solve the equation is to get rid of the brackets. So I'm going to not only get rid of the brackets, no sign in front, I can drop them, but this W I'm going to write as 1W. Plus sign in front does not change anything. This W I'll write as 1W, and there's my equals 136. Okay, now I can join up. I have 2W and 1W, 2w and 1w, that's 6w. 9 and 9 is 18. Okay. Now to finish the solution, all I have to do is take the 18 to the other side. And remember when it crosses the border, it becomes a subtract. And that leaves me with 6w equals 118 and now I'm going to divide both sides by 6 both sides by 6 and 118 divided by 6 is 19 and 2 thirds or 19.667 Okay, so now I have gone through and solved. Okay. Now to find the other side, what do you do? You go up here and you go all the way up and you say, let the length be 9 plus 2w. So 9 plus 2w is 9 plus 2 times 19 and 2 thirds. Okay, and that equals 9 plus 38, 39 and 1 third. And that equals 48 and a third. Or 
Okay, so your final answer in a nice box. The length is 48 and a third meters, and width is 19 and two thirds meters. Okay. There's your final answer. Now let's do a check. If I add up 48 and a third and 19 and two thirds, I end up getting 20, I get 68. And if I do that again, I obviously get another 68. And together, 68 and 68 is 136. And that's what the, um, the perimeter was. So I've got the right answer and give myself a nice happy face. There we are. Okay. Now, of course, you can have a perimeter problem with any sort of a shape. Okay, I've used a rectangle but it could easily be a triangle or a pentagon or anything else like that.